Hey guys, it's Syndicate here, and welcome to something randomly awesomely new and different. Now, if you're wondering what this is, this is Disney's new game, Affinity. And why am I playing it? Well, I'll tell you exactly why. I went on a road trip with c Nanners to Vegas, where we were firing shotguns, AK-47s, mini Uzis, uh, racing in go-karts and boiling to death in the very, very hot weather Las Vegas has to offer. And whilst we're out there, we got a phone call inviting us over to go and see the new Disney Affinity game. Um, in Utah, so we were like, okay, I've never been to Utah, let's go for it, let's try it, you know, we might as well, I've got nothing else to do, let's go and do it. So ahead, we went over to Utah, we went and checked it out, and we met the guys from Affinity, and the game was completely something I wasn't expecting. Now, I did see it at E3, and when I saw it at E3, I saw, like, the story mode of the game, but what I didn't see or wasn't introduced to was toy box mode. Now, toy box mode is, like, Think Minecraft, think Sims, think the creative games you've ever played before where you can create maps, create game modes in it and do pretty much whatever you want to do. Now with this game, I was like, okay, I will test this. I will go to the developers and be like, hey, you, think you can make a game within a game within a game, hmm? And they were like, yeah, pretty much in, in a nice way, not in a, <laughs> a big-headed way, but they were like, yeah, absolutely. So I was like, okay, what if I wanted to make, look through the items and was like, okay, maybe we could make, what about a tower defense game? We looked through that and they was like, we can easily make a tower defense game. And so they went ahead, passed them the controller and they showed me how to make a tower defense game. Now, what you're seeing here is me in a empty editable toy box world where I can make it as big as possible. Like you see the square land I'm on, I can make this a hundred blocks wider and it takes me like 20 minutes to run to the other side of the map. But instead I kept my tower defense small and I was like, okay, we're starting a new map. We want it to be nice and accessible and easy to use. So what we did is we created a spawner toggled to a switch as to where I jump on the switch, the game begins, the enemies start to spawn, and it was like, okay, how do we control the enemies? So we set these waypoint markers for the enemies to step into them, and then it goes, okay, I am directly going to go this way, I hit the next arrow, I'm going to go this way, and then, you know, vice versa, It'll, you'll keep directing the enemies as to where they go. So I was like, awesome, so we could literally set up a full tower defense game, which I saw them doing. So whilst they were going crazy on designing this map, I was just sat there in awe and ready to play this because I was like, okay, so we've now got this like base set up of where the enemies spawn. We can toggle them to start the game or finish the game. Uh, we've got an area for where the enemies to go. We've got barriers to keep the enemies in it. How do we keep track of how many I've killed or like when I've won the game? So we were like, okay, what's winning the game? So it was like, what about if I kill 100 of them, I finish the game. And it's like, okay, but how do you know you finish the game? So it's like, okay, we'll create this victory track where it can tell whether or not you've killed enemies or you haven't killed enemies so I was like okay what if I kill 100 enemies I complete the game then what it's like okay we could have a number system on the screen so it says I've reached 100 enemies that I've killed congratulations you completed it but then it was like no we need a bit more of a bang to be like an achievement to say you've done it here's your celebration so then we set up party cannons to be like an announcement goes off to be like boom, boom big grand finale congratulations you beat the objective of killing 100 of the enemies now you can make it so that enemies keep coming or they can take away points from you and make it so literally a full tower defense game whereas you can lose it but in this one we set it up just so like kind of so I could win it because I was kind of new to the game I know I know I'm supposed to be this beast of a gamer but we gave it a go anyway and it was a lot of fun to try out because what you could do is you could use this one system to be able to hook items up to other items like a switch to spawn a vehicle a switch to spawn an item and just be able to create whatever you felt you wanted to create so when I came in and was like tower defense game they were like okay we'll make you a tower defense game but once we've done that we're going to need to hook you up with some sort of weaponry so you can see me here flying around with one of the many toys in toy box which is like you can have weaponry you can have like big swords you can have things out the disney films and uh, i'm sure they've got loads more to come down the line like i had a you know a, a jet pack to fly around with which was a lot of fun an incredibles uh, hoverboard to fly around on and i was like these are a lot of fun but what if i want to step up my game to be able to kill these enemies that i've got in my tower defense game to a whole nother level and they was like what do you want slingshot or cannon and i was like well heck if i can get a cannon i'm pretty sure a cannon's going to do a lot of damage so they spawned me in a cannon and i was like okay i need to start racking up these kills of the enemies to reach 100 before like i get overwhelmed by enemies and they literally just flood me and destroy me so they were like okay we'll spawn you in a cannon and that's exactly what i did i spawned it in and started taking out the enemies in no time now it was a lot of fun and it, you know you can see i'm a bit rusty to try and do this but i was like the play tester they were the creators uh, with the feedback that feedback that i gave them but i was i was like the pro play tester so then i was like okay the cannon's fun but 
thought, I want to be able to try something else. So they gave me the slingshot. Now, the slingshot's really cool because, like the cannon, you can actually swap it out from being just this normal cannon to this upgraded cannon. And like the slingshot, you can actually upgrade the ammo you use on it from being like cannonballs to rockets, you know, to like soccer balls or what you know, you know, whatever you want, really. It's a lot of fun and freedom. And then it was like, okay, you want to just go third person owning them up? I was like, heck yeah. Jumped in with my uh, my laser shooter and started pulling him up until I discovered there was such thing as the slingshot again and realized that if I put it near the spawn, I could basically spawn camp them and win the game mode pretty easily. <laughs> now, yes, I was camping the spawn, but guys, I was doing it for the greater good of the video, all right? I thought you guys would prefer to see me actually win the objective rather than get constantly killed by these little minions who kept hitting me every time I jumped onto this cannon base. Now, the reason that they were killing me is because I didn't put a barrier up on this side, so I learned for next time. But once I hit 100, the grand finale went off, and it was really cool to just see how, like, all these implements of game mechanics that I, myself, had placed into the game for them to activate. Now, it's a lot of fun, and it's a really, really creative game. Now, you can jump into it and do your story mode, or you can jump into it and be like, I'm going to create my own map where I've got a racetrack, explosives falling in the track, monsters attacking me, I can dive out of my car and dive into a helicopter and fly around to my next base, or anything you possibly desire. The game is what you want to create of it. Toy box mode gives you full function and freedom to do what you want and create the game mode you want to create and the map you want to make. Now, it's a lot of fun, guys, and me and Adam managed to play this for two days, so we've got a lot of footage we can make. We've got racing games, we've got, like, little game modes where we're taking out each other's castles in this, in, like, pre-built-in game mode of, like, Disney, which we found out, which was awesome. And we've also got, like, this maze that, um, we had, uh, Cupquake and Red make, and also a pretty interesting map that Adam created where it's, like, a... You've got to get from A to B, think like Ninja Warrior sort of thing, try and survive and get to the other side, which is a lot of fun. So I'm probably going to be posting that later through the week, guys, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's something different, but I just thought I'd share it with you, seeing as though I got the opportunity to go around. It was just nice of them guys to invite us around to check it out. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this really random video, and uh, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios!